Okay guys, this is a tutorial on how to make a slam Pandora battery. So this is the official Sony battery that came with the PSP Slim. Now, um, I already cut mine open, but I'll show you what you have to do. Okay, so I used these utility blades right here. You could also use an exacto knife. Okay, just pick this one. Okay. So, basically, what you do is just cut, cut the, cut it open. Why does tape on it? Because I already cut it open and I just taped it back up so I could put it in my PSP and hack it. And there we go. Okay, now, this is what it should probably look like when you open it up. And if it doesn't look like this, then you might have a different battery. See this green thing? You just flip that over. And now you're up with this motherboard thing. Now, this really looks complicating, but it's not actually that bad. You want to cut the wire. Okay. See this little black box right here? It has four wires on the top and four wires on the bottom. Well, you want to, looking at this picture, you want to cut the one on the top right. Now, mine's already kind of, see, it's already cut, one on the top right. I already cut it, but just in order to cut it, all you got to do is take the exacto knife and just cut the wire right off. So basically this black box, you just cut the wire on the top right of this black box right here. It's actually pretty simple. Now once you cut that, all you have to do is close it back up, uh, put the cover on, like I did, and just tape it. And there you have a Pandora battery. And the way to test this would be to put it in your PSP, and if the light turns on automatically, then it's a Pandora battery. So yeah, just watch my other video on how to make a magic memory stick. And you'll be good.